students and alumni of Southern Illinois. And know that my school not gonna do nothing about it because this is a multitude of incidents. That's what I gotta worry about. It would be very frustrating for me if we let others, whoever that others may be, because we don't know who they are, disrupt what's going on at our fine university. On May 2nd, um, don't bring your wallets, bring your bats. Like, they're gonna attack black people on campus, basically. Hundreds of people, including students and community members, marched through the city of Carbondale and across the Southern Illinois University. It's 2016. If you can't get your shit together now, then there's no hope, I feel like, that it's just too much. We all need to just grow up and act accordingly because we had a black president for eight years. If that didn't end racism, I don't know what will. Of course, I think that there's racism on this campus. You can find racism anywhere. Honestly, as an African-American woman at a predominantly white institution, I wasn't really surprised when the issues of racism began about on campus. I wasn't surprised. I was more so kind of just, okay, it finally came about. I feel hurt by all the stuff that's going on on campus. Um, I came to, came from Tennessee to come to a, what you know, was known to me as a really diverse institution. I came from a really diverse high school, so I was expecting to feel, you know, accepted and just one on this campus. Um, I think that African Americans on campus are somewhat a little underrecognized, and it's just, it wasn't a surprise to me. This is my second year here, and I've seen a great difference between my freshman year and my second year. I mean, I feel like they just wanted us here just to say that we were here and to go on file that, yeah, we have a very uh, diverse school, but technically they just wanted us for the, the, the stats, I feel like. So yeah, definitely get us in, but don't want us here. I wasn't really surprised um, because of what happened with Leilani. So when the video came out, it, it made me mad, but then it was like, what else can you expect from uneducated people, from ignorant people? So um, once I saw the video, like after it had died down a little bit, yes, I was still angry, but it was like, you know, you can't really expect anything more from ignorant people. When I first saw the videos, it was a little disturbing that in this day and age, people still have this type of mindset, but obviously not surprised. Um, yeah, when I, when I first saw the second video, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't take it all that serious. I found it as a joke to begin with because after the first one had such a positive meaning behind it and for someone to take that and just minimize it, I found it to be a joke. There are people out here who are missing a couple screws and just is not bright enough to coexist. Uh, my biggest issue with the whole situation was how the school and the institution was handling it. What I felt that I got from that, from the administration, was that they don't know how to handle it. Because they, they aren't, you know, our skin color. They don't know what we're going through. And um, possibly because they've never experienced anything like it. So um, if they don't know how to handle it, then nine times out of 10, nothing is gonna happen from it. Nothing is gonna be resolved from it. As someone who works for school housing, I felt like the school, well, the institution, the SIU, I felt the SIU was kind of dancing around the topic at hand. They weren't really addressing it as a whole. And I'm someone who actually is studying uh, public relations for the semester. And so I kind of know the, a little bit of how things are supposed to be handled with big topics like these. So I understand that, okay, they can't immediately jump to a response. But at the same time, as a student who is here in, in the midst of everything, I felt that the school was ignoring the topic completely. Administration is ignoring us. We have to make them listen. This is our university. This is our SIU. We have to change things on this It hurts to see when students come together for a certain cause that they really believe in and to watch the administration just sit in the back and just watch us and not participate, not support really, but just stand and watch and stare. Um, it really makes me concerned on what action they were going to take if they can't even join us on a rally. They were sending emails like, oh, you know, we're here for your safety and we're here to make you guys feel like you're wanted. But at the same time, we have to respect everybody's freedom of speech. 
I think the university doesn't really have a choice. I think that a lot of it comes down to the, um, it, it's on the issue of the state. I felt like emails like that from the chancellor wasn't helpful to the cause or the situation at hand. They have still yet, well, actually this afternoon I got an email saying what steps they're going to take as staff and for the students to prevent issues like this and take care of everybody's feelings. I feel like it's a little bit too late now. I think that our school is trying to do that the best they can to please the students. Obviously they're not doing enough. I believe there are certain paths or certain policies put in place to slow down the progress of minorities. I feel like the, knowing that minorities already have a, a steeper hill to climb, they can definitely, you know, help out a little bit more. I don't believe in protesting, honestly, and getting together and screaming at a megaphone at the people who are not even there. But uh, given from the turnout, maybe, possibly, I feel like it's deeper than that. I feel like we, we literally need a face-to-face -face conference with everyone, the, the, count, the counselor, the Senate, all, all, everyone involved, because protesting is just words falling upon deaf ears. And true change is only going to happen if we actually put the movement forth. I feel as if the rally brought attention to the matter, but I don't necessarily feel like the rally itself did anything other than just bring attention, which is a good thing, but at the same time, I don't feel any, like any of the things were said are going to make a difference. I think the university could first hire administration that um, are of color, not even just black, but other ethnicities other than white. Um, because it, it, that's, that's where it all starts at. If you don't have an administration where students feel comfortable, um, then that's a problem in itself. No one wants to see their school on the news for derogatory things. I definitely believe they'll take some steps, but not all the steps will be taken because, again, you still have those people who had their views and refused to accept change. This is kind of why we're in the predicament now. But I do believe there's some changes going to come, but it's not going to be effective enough and it's not going to be efficient because so much damage has already been done and it's going to take a lot, a lot of change. There are some major things that the school needs to address and talk to the student body about. At the end of the day, all you can do is continue to be you. All you can do is never let that shit get to you and keep being successful.